forget the famed Clive Davis party, the biggest bash in Los Angeles on Saturday was across town at the Sunset Tower Hotel in West Hollywood. It was there that popular Friends star Jennifer Aniston was celebrating her 50th with a who's who of Hollywood, with the 200 guests including everyone from her A-lister girl gang, Gwyneth Paltrow, Reese Witherspoon, Kate Hudson, to Oscar winners such as Leonardo DiCaprio. But the biggest guest of the night was surely a discreet 55-year-old, who hid beneath his driver's cap as he snuck inside in front of a wall of photographers, as the party hit its peak, Jen's ex-husband, Brad Pitt. The actress was surprised and happy to see Brad after agonizing over inviting him. For while the two were widely thought to have remained in communication in the years since their 2005 split, they have not been seen together. She wasn't the only one with anxiety over the very public reunion, Brad was just as unsure over whether he should attend, a fellow party guest told DailyMail.com exclusively. DailyMail.com's insider tells us, We'd heard he was invited but was unsure of whether to go or not, he didn't know whether he could get in and out discreetly. In the end he just had his driver drop him off at the front door, he didn't care. Everyone was shocked to see him there and they chatted but he mostly kept himself to himself. Once inside Brad and his fellow guests enjoyed mini burgers and tacos and a huge towering layered vanilla cake with cream and berries, which was presented to a delighted Jen, according to DailyMail.com's insider at the party. According to our eyewitness, Brad spent three and a half hours at the party, arriving around 8 p.m. and leaving around 11.30 p.m. Brad stayed slipped out of the venue via the underground garage, with security using an umbrella to shield him from waiting photographers. And while Jen was pleased to see her ex, Brad certainly wasn't the center of attention. Instead the birthday girl spoke to Brad briefly. At one point she hugged him and thanked him for coming a source told US Weekly. Jen spent most of her time mingling with her girlfriends at the bash. A separate guest described it as the best party, which had a star-studded guest list of more than 200 guests including Ellen DeGeneres, Robert Downey Jr., Chelsea Handler, Sandra Bullock, Reese Witherspoon, Demi Moore, and Katy Perry. Leonardo DiCaprio also managed to slip in unnoticed. She said, Jen looked so happy, she was glowing. The food was fantastic and everyone was dancing, it was just the best party. Aniston gave a speech, ahead of her actual birthday which is on Monday. DJ Prince, a 17-year-old rising star, played dance and hip-hop for Jen and friends with many throwing shapes on the floor of the terrace. Reese Witherspoon was the biggest party-goer of the night and emerged after midnight looking blurry-eyed before tumbling down a flight of stairs. An onlooker said, her husband Jim Toth had left more than an hour before with one of her friends and it seems they just left her to it. She didn't want to stop drinking. She looked as though she'd had a big night and was helped to her feet after falling to her hands and knees in giant heels. George Clooney, who is a longtime friend of Pitt's, Ellen DeGeneres, Robert Downey Jr., and her friend's co-stars, as well as another one of the birthday girl's exes, John Mayer were among the celebrity guests. Guests at the star-studded celebration were surprised to see Brad there and were making a big deal of it according to us. Their insider added, but it didn't seem like that big of a deal to Jen. The invite went out to a ton of people and he accepted. She was happy he was there, but that was it. She was busy making the rounds and excited to see so many people near and dear to her. Brad seemed to have fun and everyone loved seeing him. He was catching up with old friends and enjoyed himself, the insider told us of the 55-year-old Fury actor's time at the event. He saw a lot of people he hadn't seen in years. Any negative feelings seem to have been put aside by Jen's friends. It's been a long time and everyone has moved on. Brad didn't stay all that long and ducked out before most people. A source told People on Sunday that Jen wanted to make sure all the people she holds near and dear to her heart attended her big party. Basically, every single person who Jen loves attended. That included Brad, the source told the, adding, the party was a celebration of Jen's life. The insider continued, Brad, for a long, was a very important part of Jen's life. She debated back and forth with friends if she should invite him. 
She was very happy that he showed up. Many of his close friends were at the party too.